What will it take to adapt the activity at the Norwegian continental shelf to perform in a low carbon future? I visited Equinor's head of the Norwegian activity, Mr. Arne Sigvin Nylund, to get more information on their plans for the Norwegian continental shelf and how he views the future perspectives for oil and gas. The first uh, operational year uh, on Johan Sverdrup has been great. Um, uh, from when we started the 5th of October, there has been great operation with good safety results, high production, high regularity and low emissions. So I think the organization has done a great job. Um, and uh, when you look at Johan Sverdrup as being a large field and one of the largest on the Norwegian continental shelf, if you well look 50 years back, um, it really frames the strategy of Equinor. Always safe, they delivered good safety results, high value, high production, and low carbon, and that, you know, with, when it comes to low emissions. So, in, in all, a great year. This year, uh, the corona situation has been very challenging, and that in combination with the market situ situation with low commodity prices, it's been a kind of a double dip. We have at all times been aligned with um, the uh, guidelines from the authorities um, and the organization's done a great job to, to make that happen. But um, when we move around two to 3,000 people every week, it goes without saying it's been a, a challenge, but the organization handled it very well. But uh, a great challenge and uh, again, uh, we have to uh, follow this very closely now and not lean back, not be complacent, because it's not over. The Norwegian Continental Shelf is and have been the backbone uh, of Equinor. And uh, what do I mean by that? Um, because it is a legacy that is important for, for the company. We will produce oil and gas in the foreseeable future. But uh, the Norwegian continental shelf through 40 years of operation has provided great learning, great experience, technology development that we now use in the whole company. Um, and I think the Norwegian continental shelf will be a great contribution to make Equinor an even broader energy company. Um, and um, if we look at the development, the knowledge, the capabilities, uh, developing into uh, renewable se sector, I think what we have as an experience from oil and gas now can be applied directly into the development of renewables. One example is uh, a very exciting project, and that is Hyven Tampen, that is a floating wind farm supplying power to Snorrefield and Gullfaxfield, which is uh, kind of breaking uh, technology. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, to uh, having that project becoming reality in a, in a short while. I think we have a great future ahead. Um, a lot of challenging but exciting, interesting um, tasks that we will solve within oil and gas, but also to build the renewable uh, segment. And I think that combination creates a lot of exciting and interesting combinations that I'm looking forward to, to, to look or to be a part of. Um, I think we will see um, a development um, where we have operation of fields now moving from the uh, traditional operation phase to the late life phase. And we are now preparing for that phase. And we see that in the next decade, if you look 10 years ahead, that will be even more important to operate fields in the late life phase in a safe and efficient manner. So that will be a very important aspect. The other one is the climate issue. Uh, that we're working very hard on, systematic approach when it comes to electrification. Uh, we have the Hyven Tumpen project. So uh, in totality, I think it calls for a very interesting future 
for the existing organization, but also for the future uh, organization and, and, and people that uh, will come to work for Equinor in the future. Uh, we have launched very challenging um, goals and targets and ambition for, for the climate uh, issue. Um, and uh, we believe in those. They are very tough, but we uh, will deliver on those uh, ambitions. Um, that requires a lot of work when it comes to operating the assets efficiently to have a very close follow-up of energy consumption, take down energy consumption and hence reduce emissions. That's one. The other one is to really develop now electrification projects. So electrifying Sleipnerk in Akrog is one example. The troll area is another one. We already have Johan Sverdrup that is electrified from, from shore. So there are a lot of examples that will, will have a very important contribution to reach that goal. But it's, it's tough, but it should be tough. And then I think the organization is leaning forward and I'm sure we will deliver on it and we, we believe in it. But it's challenging projects, but still, I really think we will deliver. I think that um, there are great opportunities going forward when it comes to digitalization. And uh, first and foremost, I think the current organization is doing a great job just to, to learn and to develop within this very important area. And I really think that this calls for good opportunities for the future generation to come to work for, for Equinor and to really make digitalization um, the tool for collaboration within the company. I think that calls for great opportunities. And I think looking ahead, we see an energy transition on the Norwegian continental shelf. We will produce oil and gas for the foreseeable future. We will develop renewable uh, solutions. And this in combination in, and if you then take visualization and then you take the climate issue, and look at this as an opportunity. I really think there's great opportunities for the future generation to develop. And really, I think it's, if you have a thinking that I would like to work with renewables and the green energy solutions, that's fine. But also look at oil and gas as an important commodity for the energy mix in the future. It's much better to be on the inside than being on the outside. I think the uh, young people today are very uh, reflective, wise um, reflections on the future energy uh, and the climate issue. So first and foremost, that is important. Um, and I think that what we can offer as a company is to provide them with opportunities and challenges to meet the future. We will work with oil and gas, but do that as climate friendly as possible to, remove, to reduce emissions. And we will develop renewable solutions in the future. If you look at this in combination with digitalization as a very important tool to make it happen and to develop it, I think that opens for great opportunities for the coming generation. And I really hope that people stu studying today look at this as a, as a challenge. And when, when, when we look at the internships uh, this year, it's never been higher. So that is an indication that it, it is interesting and uh, that students of today, they see this as, as an opportunity. So um, I, I really think it's a very interesting future.